today I went outside and I clipped the hedges and watered the flowers. I took my cell phone with me just in case I'd catch that special moment of nature or just any event that I could use as a future reference for my art. I found a beautiful butterfly, a monarch butterfly to be exact, just fluttering around on the flowers. So I took out my cell phone and captured that special moment and got some wonderful reference pictures from it. So I'm gonna be drawing that today. But I also would like to thank everyone who has dropped a comment in the comment section and let me know their thoughts and uh, complimented the channel. It's much appreciated. I do salute you. Thank you so much. I switched my work surfaces. Now I'm going to do um, the coloring part of the video. Uh, before I, well, previously in the video, I sketched it in and then I did the inking. So now I'm going to do watercoloring of the butterfly, the monarch butterfly, that is. Um, also, to help speed the process along, I'm going to use this marker. Uh, graphic number one to color in the black areas and then I'll go in with the watercolor uh, for looks like just two colors really orange and I'll leave the white of the paper to depict the white on the butterfly uh, so this will be in real time I'm not going to time lapse this portion of the video so I apologize to those of you who may not uh, well I apologize to anyone who doesn't have time to stick around. But thank you so much if you've made it through this portion or this part of the video. Your time here is much appreciated. Let me begin. All right, so like I said, I was just going to color in the black parts of the butterfly with the marker here. A brush marker might have been better. This one is more, it's not fine line, but it's a little bit thicker than your average marker. It's a little bit thinner, shall I say. The point on the marker. It's good for detailing. Now I'm experimenting with this paper. The paper is rather thick. It's not watercolor paper, but I think it's going to hold the wet medium. If not, well, you know, I'll see. I'm going to go to the art supply store and get a uh, sketchbook that can uh, support water watercolor. So I'm just coloring in the black portion portions of. Uh, the butterfly's wings now. And, um, I'm trying to think if I even have a brush marker. I 
as I stated earlier in the video, this video was basically about finding inspiration wherever you are. Um, you can go right outside your own door and find inspiration reference pictures for future art projects. And with this one, this picture actually, I found it, well, the butterfly was at the uh, local flower store. I think I said show, but it was an actual uh, store that sells flowers, Farmer John's in our area. And the butterfly was just having a good time pollinating. And he wasn't bothered by the fact that I was so close. So I took my phone out and snapped a shot. And it was no problem because he just sat there like he was posing for me. So that was a blessing in and of itself. My husband got his camera out and got some video of it, but the video was a bit blurry, so I couldn't post it. Actually, the movement of the butterfly, because the video came out a little bit too blurry. I haven't been outside to water my flowers yet. This is the next day. So um, I, I did the first part of the video yesterday and came back with this por portion of the video the following day. And I haven't been outside yet. I wanted to get this done. And then I'll go outside and uh, get some watering of the plants done. This portion of uh, the video will probably take the longest, this uh, coloring in the veins of the wings black. Because once it's time to paint, that should be rock and roll. It's coming along okay. Hey, yesterday, um, after I watered the flowers and came back in the house, I washed the dishes, and my kitchen is right. It was pointed towards the backyard. And the flowers that I had on the deck, uh, there was a hummingbird that stopped by. And he stayed for a couple of seconds, a good 10 to 15 seconds, getting his fill of nectar from the flowers. And... My phone was right there and I wanted, I thought about it. And then I said, well, as soon as I run and get the phone, uh, he'll be gone. So I just stood there in my kitchen window and just watched him and it brought a big smile to my face seeing the hummingbird just uh, get his fill of nectar and he flew off. So by the time I went and got my camera, it would have been gone. I mean, it was on the kitchen table. I would have had to turn it on, get it focused. And by that time, he would have flew off. So I just smiled and watched him work. I have a picture of it in my mind's eye. Sometimes those are the best ones for occasions like that. Take a snapshot with your mind, with your eyes, and keep it in your mind, shall I say. It's another beautiful sunny day outside, too. 
and I'm going to take advantage of them. You know, we're this is our fall. We've approached the fall now, so we're close to it, September. Not officially fall yet, but. But then Labor Day is the end of summer, so I guess summer is, is over. So this is fall now. Am I right or am I wrong? Or is it officially over on a certain date, like the 21st or something? I'm going to have to Google that and look that up. Second guessing myself here, but I did. I had originally, uh, well, I thought Labor Day marked the end of summer, so I don't know. All right, we've got a good portion of the black done. Coming down the home stretch now. This is the fun part. Keeping it as neat as possible. Let me work on the body here. Oh, my picture. Where's my reference picture? Disappeared on my phone. There we go. Such a unique, uniquely colored butterfly. One of my favorites. Monarch butterfly. Let me look that up. I'm going to Google monarch butterfly. It says the monarch butterfly is uh, simply or simply monarch is a milkweed butterfly in the family of Nymphalidae. I probably, I'm pretty sure I slaughtered that word, Nymphala, Nymphalidae. or other common names depending on region include milkweed, common tiger, wanderer, and the black vein brown. It's interesting. It is amongst the most familiar of North American butterflies and an iconic pollinator. All right. Iconic. Now, I've had this marker for a little while. It's getting a little dry on me here. Just this little bit of drawing that I'm doing or coloring. Got another one somewhere. So I'm going to read a little more. It says, although it is not an especially effective pollinator of milkweeds, its wings feature an easily recognizable black, orange, and white pattern 
with a wingspan of 8.9 to 10.2 centimeters. That's three and a half to four inches. That's huge, considering the, the little white butterflies I see go around. Sometimes they're so small compared to the monarch. And this one here, it was a pretty nice size. It's hard to miss. Miss. I'm going to have to get another marker here. This one's, I'm turning it from side to side to get this, all the ink out that I can. About 15 minutes in, 1456 into the video. All right, so that's that portion. Let's go for the body real quick. Yeah, I'm thinking a brush marker might have done the job a little bit quicker. Possibly. All right, so there's the body portion of the butterfly. Let me get this picture in view here. Now let's work on that wing on the opposite side. Sixteen oh one. I want to see if I can get done with this at the uh, eighteen minute mark at the least. Let me turn this paper to the side. Make sure it's still in the shot. Now, we've got the black vein part of the wings filled in. So now let's add the watercolor. Test the color before I lay it on the paper. Let me get my reference photo back here. I know I was reading a little information on the monarch butterfly. I'm going to rock and roll now. I'm going to put a little orange in this yellow here that I'm mixing. You can't see what I'm doing. There's my watercolor. Get it off the paper towel that's making it slide. Now you can see it a little bit. There we go. Everything's sliding forward. See? The table is slightly tilted. 
drafting table. Fold the paper up. See here, this is taking like two minutes here, just getting the, stopping this stuff from sliding. Okay, here we go. Decided to go with the darker orange first. All right, let's see one more portion here, right there. It's a little lighter up here, so I'm gonna take some of this color out, dab it on the towel. You know, when I bought this marker, um, well, not this marker. There's another mar marker that I bought a little while back, and it was saying that uh, it wouldn't run or mix with the watercolor, and it does. This one's doing it a little bit, and maybe it's because of the type of paper that I'm using right now. But this marker normally doesn't run uh, with the... Uh, medium it usually holds its own pretty well so now let me go to the next color this yellow orange a light yellow orange mixing it in here all right now let's see what this looks like some more yellow in there So like I was um, just thinking that I hope you all, if you need reference and you're out of uh, ideas for things to draw, just step right outside your door and find your inspiration there. Just a tip. Sometimes you'll find something, sometimes you won't. But you know, an interesting thing I thought about doing, um, I thought about doing a series on the images that I see in the tiles in uh, my shower, because it's so funny, because I look at some of the images in there, and they actually look like a uh, a form or, or a face of some sort, kind of abstract, but 
It's art. And I thought about, you know, I took a couple of pictures of uh, some of the figures that I've seen on the shower towels, in the shower towels or whatever, just the swirls that form odd or very interesting shapes and uh, actually trying to interpret that myself into art. And I took some snapshots of it so uh, it wouldn't seem so odd for me to say that, but I could actually show the picture and uh, give my interpretation of it. Without being considered a whack, wacko. All right, so now the time we're at the last portion of the drawing, and I'm going to uh, do the flowers. Now this is a dark, like red orange flower here. So I'm going to go with that light orange first. Put a little water in this little dipping. This is like a little mixing area here. Or you can put water in it to clean your brush off. Got my water here. It's out the shot, so I figured I'd show it to you. Mix that up really good. I want it a little bit lighter. Almost. Almost. Here we were almost there. And I think that's it right here. thinking it's the paper I'm using. I'm going to use like a little pointillism here. It's a little dot, 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 dot. You get the idea, the impression of it. Yeah, I'm really disappointed with the marker because it's like running uh, with the water. I thought it was like waterproof marker. I don't watercolor enough. I probably should have known that. I experiment with it here and there. Twenty-eight minutes in. Let me get this flower at the top. That's very disappointing to me how this is running. It's got to be the paper. 
because this is not watercolor paper. I did mention that I was going to get a watercolor sketch pad. So I can't be mad at it. Well, that's attempt at uh, my attempt at coloring, the drawing and coloring the monarch butterfly. Put a little bit more green on the stem. Overall, this was a fun project. All right. I'm gonna let it dry. Maybe I'll come back in a little bit later. Wait, let me put a little bit more red at the top here. That's bothering me that that washed off out like that. Okay, so it's looking a little bit more uniform with the rest of it now. This has been my attempt at the monarch butterfly and i'd like to thank you so much for your time and until next time we get together this has been rita rue of creative atmosphere i hope you find your inspiration right outside your door or inside your house bye for now <laughs>